Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now today guys, I've got something a little bit different for you in this video. Me and Hans have um, bought a special thermometer for our cactus and succulent polytunnel. And those of you who watched my videos will know that we have a outdoor and stroke indoor thermometer. Um, which is a special sort of sensor, works like a Wi-Fi system that tells us the temperature in the polytunnel that we can read inside the house. So it means we don't have to worry about going in and out the polytunnel to check the, uh, the temperature. And because our polytunnel is green coated, we'd have no idea what temperature is in there unless we knew from the inside. But anyway, it broke the other day, sort of we've had it over a year and a half and it's just completely gone. So we ordered another one. And it's by a company called Araya, because how, how you pronounce it, which is where we got our other one from, from Amazon. And we thought, well, we're gonna, we looked at a few different ones, and this one looks very good. The reason being, it works on a Wi-Fi system, like the other one does. So we're able to put the sensor, or the sensors, into our polytunnel. And it not only tells us inside the house with the, with the um, sensor, the, something the receptor in the house, the temperature of what is inside the polytunnel. Also tells us the humidity as well, which is great. Because here in um, Ireland, in Northern Ireland particularly, it's very, very wet. And that's the biggest challenge we have growing these cacti and circulars in our climate. It's never the temperatures because it's quite mild. We have mild winters. It's always the humidity. And we were thinking of getting a, um, a humidifier, um, not a humidifier, a, hu a humidity reader. Um, anyway, and this is like a two-in-one. And what's exceptionally good about this um, thermometer is it not only tells you, as I say, the humidity and the temperature, but it's got three sensors. So we can put one sensor at the back of the polytunnel, one in the middle, and one close to the door. So when we have our heater on in there, we'll know exactly, it'll tell us three different readings of how the heat is being distributed in the polytunnel. So this is gonna be great, guys. And I thought, what I was gonna be, just gonna set it up, but I thought I might make a little video about it because a few people have asked me, um, what do you, how do you know what the temperature is in your polytunnel? You know, we have it, we have our polytunnel heater set at a minimum of five degrees Celsius, which is about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And it comes on if it drops below Know that so um, but obviously we we know what the temperature actually is in the polytunnel because before the other one packed up we did have this um, we was able to read the indoor and outdoors with a special sensor and this is more of an upgraded one and I said we've got three sensors so we know exactly the temperature of three different parts of the polytunnel those of you who watch my videos know we have quite a large polytunnel it's 10 by 20 feet you know it's 10 feet wide and 20 feet long so it is large it's, it's a dilemma to heat such a large space and we have a bio green heater by Phoenix which I'm going to include in another video I'm going to include a video on how we insulate and heat our polytunnel because a lot of you have been asking over the winter and we include a bit more details about that in there. Um, but this is setting up our indoor and outdoor thermometer, hygrometer as well, and show you what it looks like when it's set up and everything like that. And before I go any further, I want to give a very special thank you to my wonderful fiance Hans, who is behind the camera filming me today, so I've got my hands free. And if you're not familiar with Hans's amazing uh, YouTube channel, Family of Cactusy and Other Beauties, do check him out, links up above. And uh, Hans thank is going to be the one who's probably going to be installing this and setting it up, so I'm going to be taking over the camera after, because you know what men, men are better at uh, doing these things than women are. So that's not, that's not sexy, so I'm a woman myself, but I know that a lot of women probably agree with me there. Men are sort of better at certain things and understanding instructions. So good little instruction manual with this as well. And I just say, show you here, guys. We have the three sensors, one, two, and three, which is great, which is labelled there. So um, I think that it works within about uh, between 100 and 300 metres. So the indoor sensor here, so the indoor um, receiver here is what's going to receive from these sensors throughout the polytunnel. And then it's going to show up on the little um, display screen here. It will tell us the humidity and the temperature and the minimum and maximum um, temperatures as well that it, the polytunnel drops at throughout a 24 hour period. So very, very good. And that just all we have to do now is install the batteries. We've read the little instruction manual. And these are the batteries here. It takes AAA, um, I think it needs probably quite a few AA batteries, which is good. So it's not coming off electric at all. And 
This particular thermometer stroke hygrometer, it's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. So it makes it good for sort of polytunnels, greenhouses, and you can even use it in the refrigerator. Some people use these in the refrigerators. So it protects against high humidity. So if you have a greenhouse or grow room and you use a lot of um, sort of these steamers to keep the humidity up, we don't have that problem here. We have a problem with too much humidity, but um, it's not gonna hurt if you use one of their machines. But obviously if you're splashing, spraying water everywhere, then obviously it's not waterproof. Obviously batteries and water don't mix, but it is pretty water resistant. So making it ideal for greenhouses and polytunnels. And there we go, a little bit about it there. And now we're gonna show you putting it into a polytunnel. Now, here we are in the polytunnel, and we put in the first sensor, as I say, there's three sensors, right at the very back of the polytunnel here, where we've got a lot of the, um, lot of your punctures. And it's important that you put the sensors away from direct sunshine. So, obviously, this time of year, we don't get a lot of sunshine. As you can see, the, uh, the polytunnel is green-coated anyway, plus we've got a lot of bubble wrap on for the winter insulation. So it should be fine. Uh, maybe in the spring or summer, we'll have to move them probably a bit more of a shadier place but it should be okay for the winter and these can be mounted and it's sort of important as well that when you fit the sensors they there's ventilation going all around it so it can give a good temperature reading and also for the humidity because if you just put them straight up on top of a plant pot or something that's going to give a wrong reading so there's Hansi fitting the first one on there putting a piece of uh, garden wire on number uh, one number one so that's number one <laughs> and as i say that's the little the little sensors around there that checks the temperature and also the humidity on there so that's the first one done and now we're going to be fitting the second one number two there's number two <laughs> so um halfway then. yeah halfway yeah i think halfway with number two mm -hmm. and then number three we'll put closer to to the door yeah. and we're fitting the second sensor here in the middle yeah. of the polytunnel, as you can see there. Number two. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now we're going to be um, putting the third one, I think, sort of close to the door. And then it, this is great that it's got three sensors, especially because we have got a large polytunnel. If we just, we had just the one sensor before we used to put in the middle of the polytunnel. But obviously, heat distributes very differently to different areas of this polytunnel. So it's going to give us a very good, accurate much more of an accurate reading as well, which is great. That's our little heater that, that we use here. This is the Bio Green Phoenix. And it's also good as well, it's also a fan. So on days like this, this is a nice, dry, bright, sunny winter day. Very cold outside, but I say it's not the cold that will affect these plants so much, it's the humidity. So on dry, um, dry sunny days in the winter, we keep the polytunnel door open for a couple of hours just to let any excess humidity get out as well, um, which is great. And it's Hansi fitting, uh, fitting number three, and that's it. So as far as I know, there's nothing you have to switch on. It will automatically um, contact, sort of get in touch with the sensor which we've got inside the house. Now it says in the instructions that it takes at least 30 minutes for the um, the sensor in the house to actually give a reading with the two, three sensors. And then it takes an hour then to give a proper accurate reading. So we have to be patient now for about an hour. But as I say, we've set the sensors up in here. And then we're going to show you after an hour what the reading is. And uh, there you go, guys. Quick scan of the polytunnel. It's uh, winter now. It's been very cold, uh, cold nights, but uh, lovely sunny days. And so far, so good. All the plants are looking pretty good and we've got all the slumbergeras. Later flowering than the ones in the house because obviously the, the polytunnel is kept cooler and uh, lots of buds forming on there. So all very good. Beautiful flowers there with the winter succulents. And uh, we're gonna leave it now and show you what the reading comes up with and what it shows us on the, uh, on the sensor, in, sorry, on, on the, um, the reader inside the house. Now there we go guys, we've left it an hour and that's how it works here. I'll just pull it out so you can see it's a little bit better here. We've got the, um, the grow light under there so it's giving a bit of a glow to it. Um, I'll just take it over here in case it might be a bit easier to see on the white. Um, yep, it is in the house, 17 degrees and 57% humidity here in the house there. And that's the three sensors. 
and number one which is at the back very back of the polytunnel it's on 8.4 degrees um, celsius and the humidity is 66 0.3 percent as i say it's quite high humidity in the polytunnel it would normally be higher than that but we've had the door open in there to ventilate it all um and obviously we close the polytunnel now because it's starting to go dark but it's not as high as i thought which is actually a good sign but obviously high um in comparison to what cacti like they usually love a very dry arid atmosphere and number two then is 8.8 .8, so it's going a little bit warmer there in the middle and a 66 66.3 humidity so the humidity is the same number three there which is right by the door in the polytunnel again 8.7 degrees celsius and 66 percent humidity so just to let you know um eight eight celsius is roughly about probably um be about just under 50 degrees fahrenheit so it's quite mild in there in the polyton as i say if it drops below 5c which is about 41 degrees fahrenheit the heater will kick on but that's good for now and as i say it's been a sunny day so it's been heated the sun's been coming in there anyway so that's the the house temperature and the three different um three different sensors all through the polytunnel giving us a reading it's absolutely fantastic because we can keep an eye on the uh, temperature and also the humidity in there it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes so i hope you enjoyed this little video guys it's just a bit of a video vlog of us setting up this indoor and outdoor thermometer and hydrometer and um Thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to know more about cacti succulents or you just want to check out my website, please do. Um, DesertPlantsOfAvalon.com And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye.